truth, but still we not lead it. No. And if we love him like we say that we do, his sheep will be feeding. Say we better rise up and go. He's gonna let them go. That Christ is the answer. Rise up and go. Yeah, we got to let them know that Christ is the way. Rise up and go. He's gonna let them know that Christ is the answer. Rise up and go. Yeah, we gonna let them know that Christ is the way. Let rise up and go. He's gonna let them know. That Christ is the answer, rise up and go. Yeah, we got to let them know that Christ is the way. Rise up and go. Yeah, we got to let them know that Christ is the answer, rise up and go. Hey, welcome back to r and R. We got some good stuff coming up right now. We're doing some stuff on BuzzFeed. Mm. Our BuzzFeed segment's back. You know, I saw this um, list, like, last week. I was Friday, and I was like, we have to talk. We have to discuss this on the show. And it's 28 <coughs> devastating truths about adulthood that nobody ever tells you. Yeah. It's really funny. I saw some of these, men. I was dying because <laughs> it's so true. No, serious. The no. first one is, without warning, all your friends start getting engaged and having babies. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, yeah everybody's yeah. It's like, oh no, like, I just feel like my best friend was talking about getting getting married the other day, and she's, she's, in her, she's like 22, so it's fine, but it's like, it just puts you in a whole different state. It's like, oh my God, I have to attend yeah. weddings that like, they're my friends. Like, yeah. it's weird. The best <laughs> is when you know people from other countries. Like, I know all you guys do, and myself yeah. included, and like, especially Latinos, they get married younger around like, late teens or yeah. early 20s so That's i true. know a bunch of people who are already married getting married having kids mm-hmm. yeah, a couple of my cousins are like 18 now they're just getting married i'm just like all right that's cool i remember when i met you when we were like 10 <laughs> yeah you know and yeah like, i mean if it makes you happy you find the one i guess go for it that's it um just do it also it says facebook becomes a torture device well, that that's, is true that's why i got rid of that stuff man. the older i'm getting it's just like the less i'm on facebook and the, and the more annoying the, the more annoyed i am at post i see <laughs> yeah like, especially if you have younger friends i have high school p- people on my facebook which is the biggest mistake i've ever done because yeah. it's I still see the pictures from high school and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, it's not cool. The second one is instead of being reassuring, checking your bank balance is like watching a countdown to homelessness. <laughs> yeah, I check mine like every day because I usually spend at least like 20, 30. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I get paid every week, but still, that's yeah. kind of it's kind of <laughs> painful. By, by Wednesday, I'm already in panic mode. Yeah, man, home day, it's like, all right. I got lunch, I got dinner, I got coffee, I got coffee, I got this, I got that. My I'm six, screwed. My six coffees a day. Especially yeah, no, for commuters, that gas and those train tickets. Don't even get me started about the train tickets, son. Yeah. Anyway, number three, there is there is an expectation that waking up early becomes easier with time. It does not. Nope. It gets harder every time. It's like you got to start your habits early. The older you get, the more you'll be falling asleep in your cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Uh, Once you're working for, I'm, co- for Staples, well, I'm working in a corporate place right now, and there's like there's a huge. Some of the cubicles have like bed, like a tiny like bed area where they can just rest for a few minutes. <laughs> it's so funny. Wow, that's amazing. And you have okay. You will constantly intend to start going to the gym. It's not gonna happen. Just telling you right now. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym for spring break. Uh, I've been trying to go to the gym for the past few months, and I just work. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, responsibility gets in the way yeah. sometimes. Um, okay. You work tirelessly 60 hours a week to earn money for your tax collector and landlord. <laughs> Word. Uh, uh, we no. all know that feeling. Yeah. Which number is that? That's number five. Uh, oh, boy. We got a long list. I know. You spend the rest of your money on attending weddings and baby showers. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to start denying people for that now. I was like, no, I ain't going. <laughs> I'm not going. Sorry. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> the worst was sweet 16s in high school. It's like, I got to shell out all this money. Oh, my goodness. I know all you freaking girls. Get out of my life. It's Stop. like you ha- you're having a huge party. Why do you need a gift from me, honestly? <laughs> 20, 21 sweet 16 sophomore and junior year for me. 21? Twenty. I gave twenty dollars to each one of these girls. How much is that? That's like four hundred bucks, right? That's, That's like four hundred 
Oh hey. my goodness. Yeah, hey, we guys. can do math. Wow. Yeah, look Crazy. at us. You got don't ask me. Anyway, nah. <laughs> I'm terrible on that. I should get that back on tax. <laughs> and then no no party, no matter how perfect it is, is more fun than being in bed without pants on. <laughs> seriously, uh, <laughs> seriously, I'm just so lazy sometimes that I, I just, just want to leave. Hang out on Netflix, honestly. No yeah, daily Hulu. Hulu. Number eight, <laughs> and no significant other, no matter how compatible, is as loyal as Netflix and Hulu. That is so true. <laughs> true that, true that, true that. Netflix never talks back and it's always going to be there for you as long as you have internet. So uh, is El Mayimbe bailando salsa. Yeah, just that Eric's dancing outside, so... And then you cl- you will spend several years of your life just dusting and vacuuming and wiping things. I'm already doing that. Yep. <laughs> Word. You will endure bizarre hair makeup mishaps. Yep. Already. I don't know about you guys. Any makeup mishaps, Gabe? Makeup? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I tried getting this eyeliner on. Uh. <laughs> I'm not that much of a pro, so I end up looking at black tears coming out you of my eyes. Cover girl. Cover girl? <laughs> oh, yeah, you forgot. No, I, I tried to cut my hair m- one time and it came out bad. Oh, okay. Then eventually we turn into, oh my goodness, eventually we will all turn into our mothers and fathers. That's scary. Generally, that's a priv- privilege if I guess your parents are like rich <laughs> Yeah. and happy. <laughs> um, your hangovers will be, will always be far more painful than the drunkenness was. No. You will have to mm-hmm. work to acquire things that you that just used to show up, like utensils and trash cans. Uh, I gotta spend like twenty bucks on a trash can, a uh, hundred bucks for a new set of utensils. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy, man. That's our lives. Rent. The rent. fairy tale romance Disney reared you to want is much less enticing than finding someone who just gets you. Womp. Yeah, that's a lie. Disney's a lie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Our world, wherever your frozen body is, I, I would like to. I figured that in high school. I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, oh, when you professionally, when you're professionally successful, people who, who you haven't talked to in years suddenly want to be your best friend. That, that's not us yet. Not yet. That will happen. I. S- no. Hey, yeah. Johnny, I haven't seen you in forever, like Johnny. If you start getting internships and other people want to get into the internship, they'll hit you up and they'll be like, hey, long time no see. And I'll be like, you didn't say a word to me. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I know. It's And then two, <laughs> two days later, so I heard you work here. Do you think you could give my resume to whoever? And I'm like, no. Um, and then, okay. <laughs> when you're not sending that one, hey, how's it going text to people you haven't spoken to in 10 years, um, and then... At age six, okay. At age six, you want to be an astronaut. But at 22, I'm okay. writing to express an interest in your unpaid interest <laughs> internship. <laughs> it goes down now because, you know. It's just yeah, like, you're not getting money. You're not being the astronaut. You got you to gotta do what you got to do. And then keeping a written account of your money situation <laughs> is both useful and incredibly depressing. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Uh, I'm looking at the, the the GIF and it's um the the cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The oh, cat? yeah. Is yeah, that the cartoon? Salem. Salem. Actually, Salem. He is so funny. <laughs> yeah. He was the best cat ever. He was the best character on that show, without a doubt. Oh my god. Nineteen online dating is when you swipe left, swipe right, swipe left, right. <laughs> you guys, have you guys heard of Tinder? No, what is it? It's like an uh, it's like a dating app for teens, but it hooks up to your Facebook where it won't give you info. It just has like five pictures from your Facebook that you can choose, your age and your name, and it's like a hot or not thing. Oh yeah. I got it just to see like what it was for Checking five it minutes, out. and it's 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 addictive, but it's like do not go on there if honestly you would just like I'm not I'm not a fan of like people. Yeah, you don't, I don't know, know who's talking on to there. me, but it, it's addictive. It's it's fun just to like if you're bored one day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and cooking is when you reheat takeovers and leftovers and had hot sauce. <laughs> I've done some crazy stuff with that, man. Living in the dorm, just taking my Chinese rice from last <laughs> night, putting that with something, and I don't know. And then you will never outgrow junk food cravings. I'm trying, and it's not working out too well. Let me tell you one thing. I love this one. <laughs> Here we go. No matter how over it you are, you will probably still Facebook stalk an ex once or twice a week. Yeah, that's that's natural, man. That's what we all do. <laughs> Just to see, you know, if they're boring, miserable lives. <laughs> you want to see, like, this person's, like, suffering. It's yeah. like, hey, I'm doing so much better than you. Um, and you will spend as much time trying to understand what a 401k is as you will be reaping its benefits. I don't know what a 401k is, but I... It's I, some type of insurance as a business my major. My boss today was like, oh, do you want a 401k? I'm like... 
I'm 19. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, nah, but like in finance class, they were telling us now's the time to start saving up because if you think about it, when you're 40 years old and you want to start for retirement, mm-hmm. you can make about a hundred grand with like a, a dollar a day. But with uh, starting at 20 and you just keep piling your mm-hmm. money up and it gets interest and interest and interest, you could end up with a million pretty much. That's true. And the last one is youth is fleeting. Nothing lasts forever except student loans. You know, let me tell. Let me tell you one thing about stu- wow. about about youth. Youth does not exist after you turn like 20, I bet. Because listen, I'm 19 and I'm in pain like there's no tomorrow sometimes. I'm just yeah. like, what? what's going on here right now? Like, I just can't. Youth, I can't wait. I can't wait till we turn 21 and we're just like waking up with, with pains in our back. Oh, like, no. I just got my diploma like last week. Why well, I'm already <laughs> so sore. Come on now. You oh, kids get off my lawn. They, you know what sucks is like you're applying for entry level positions and it's like two to three years experience wanted. <laughs> yeah. But you've just graduated. It's, it's like, what do you want? How do I get that much experience? What do you want from me? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Thanks, Adam Lambert. Anyway. Um, oh, what's next, yeah. guys? That was the last one. Yeah, that was the last one. Say that one more time, just so I can hear it again. The last one? Yeah. Youth is fleeting. Nothing lasts forever except student loans. I wanted to tell you that three days ago or so, uh-huh. I was just with a bunch of people from my church, and I was just daydreaming, and I realized... My youth passed me. My high school years were like my prime years, but they weren't. I wish they were. High school was the best time of my life. I will always look yeah. back on the two year, junior and senior year when I was at Mamaroneck High School, the best two years of my life. And you could have done anything you wanted. You were powerful. You were young. You were, you were young. We you had anything. You didn't have any responsibilities. Yeah. You could just have fun with your friends. Yeah. My senior year, I barely got homework. And it's like, I don't, I don't understand how I, that never happened, but... I, if I could do anything to go back to my senior year, I would. Yes, junior and senior year, that's when privileges started, like, piling up on you. And yes. you were just like, all right, cool. I don't have to do this. I don't got to do that. Yeah, hopefully for I'm most man, of you. man, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you and I came from all boys high schools. Yeah, I know. Those fun. Those were really funny experiences because we met some characters, I bet. Yeah, and I always. And that's like... We have a total request live right now from a person that wants to probably listen to some bachata if I know him Does well. Does this kid think he's Batman? Yeah, I, I think, think so. we got some he fans got a Batman outside. Case. Yeah, he's just looking at us right now, and so we're gonna giving us funny faces. He, they yeah. want us to play a song. They want us to play some Anthony Santos song. I don't have Anthony Santos, but I, I think do it's have Romeo some. Santos. No, that's Anthony. That's the There's older. There's two of them. Ooh. Yeah, he's like hey. the, a classic ah. bachata artist. Why do you guys keep talking about youth? And I will go see what they want. <laughs> yeah, okay. see what they want, cause I don't know what these guys are doing, man. Yeah, it's always gonna be like that with them. So, anyways, Gabe. What was your favorite experience from high school? I know it's going to be tough, but what was your favorite experience? My favorite experience had to be, let me see, I had a lot of them, but like, favorite experience had to be the leadership retreats that I went on. It's a tie. I went on two leadership retreats, um, junior and senior year. Those were the, probably the best eye-opening experiences I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and I, I heard went about those. And then I was part of an exchange program to England, and I went in February of senior year. <laughs> Uh, I can't tell which is better, um, but let me tell you, senior year with those op- two opportunities right there, you just finish off your junior year with a leadership retreat, you start just senior year with a leadership retreat, and then you start, you know, then you finish senior year off with uh, with an exchange. Uh huh. That was probably the best things that, that I ever experienced um, in high school, especially, and it, it, and it levels off with a lot of things in college. Yeah, man, that's good stuff. What about you, man? I mean, it's tough. Like, I did go to Mexico that one time, and that was life-changing, man. But like, like being in the school, probably the best thing was figuring out like senior year when I had all my free time, like what to do. Like we discovered there was an organ in the chapel in the hallway. So we would be playing that, having a good time, <laughs> playing masterpieces. We'd just be chilling out, being bros and just having a good time, man. The only thing I missed was that for my year, they stopped letting us go out for lunch. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Why? It was like a legal thing. Like some bad stuff happened. Some kids were doing things. Nah, man. My high school, we always had an open campus, and I'd love that. I mean, we'd have I'd have a lot of freeze, so I'd always used to go out to wherever with my friends. I was in this program called Apple, and it was kind of like an alternative learning program. Yeah. And we basically, they were the same kids that had the same four teachers for like ev- everything. You know, like there's a math teacher a science whatever Mm -hmm. but it kind of sounds boring but it's not because those kids became my family they're they're still my family to this day i go back to apple i visit i mean 
there was, it was just a close family, and I love that. And, you know, you could have main main class courses too, and it's just I loved it. I mean, we used to go out all the time. We, we went to Mon- we went to a senior trip in Montauk. We went apple picking. We went everywhere. You know, it was so much fun. You'd always go to the city as a class trip. Oh, wow. amazing! Yeah. I, I remember I was in the cheerleading team too, and like they'd, um, I was the only one in apple with and some, one other girl, and they'd always come and support me, and like we'd always support each other. It See, was that's so what I'm fun. talking about. You got family going right there. That's yeah, hard to come by. They that's were crazy. Literally family. I still hang out with them. I still talk to them every day. We still, you know, we looking out for each other. And the other day, one of them hit me up. They're like, yo. You got a paper on like American Revolution. I'm like, um, I just did one for my class last time. I'll hook you up, you know. <laughs> Word. So yeah. It's it's crazy. Wow, guys, this was a good session. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of stuff out, like the the huge rat and everything. Yeah, I missed we did. <laughs> you know what's also one thing I miss about high school? What's that? Detention. With that being said, um. <laughs> Right. With that being said, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, guys, we'll end you on a good note. We got se acabó el amor. Yeah. And uh, that's Jay Alvarez. And get those pink slips, man. Pink slip.